Welcome to Kanata Connections. I'm David Watts. I am Kanata, and I that is we. Villages of life that stretch from sea to sea to sea. A human constellation as long as the rivers run. Can it talk, can it chalk, can it yink? We are Canadian. Canada is a constellation, not a union or single state. Recognizing this aspect of who we are is needed to understand what confederation is about. A past president of the Canadian Folk Music Society asked, When will Ottawa learn that Canadian culture is regional culture? Sir John A. Macdonald wanted the country the conference delegates were putting together to be a unitary state like the United Kingdom and proposed as a name the Kingdom of Canada. He didn't get his wish on either count. Britain would not consent to kingdom because it was not going to provoke the United States by setting up a kingdom next door to the republic that was urging other former colonies to become republics too. So we got dominion, which is another story. And because Quebec was not prepared to dissolve into a union with a single legislature, we got a federation. Here the former New France retained its own regional government plus a quarter of the seats in the lower house in the federal parliament and a third of the seats in the Senate. Quebecers had kept their language and culture in a 24-year experiment of the United Province of Canada, where the former Lower and Upper Canadas each had 50% of the seats. But as English-speaking migrants arrived in larger numbers, with calls for representation in the Assembly based on population rather than territory or language, Quebec said, that's not what we agreed to. A one-nation state based on majority rules had not worked, just as we'd find a two-nation state was no better a hundred years later. If Quebec was to have a sustainable relationship with its neighbours, this would be in a federal constellation, not a one-person, one-vote framework. Sir John not only accepted this, he supported it. Speaking of French Canadians to an English-speaking colleague, he advised, Treat them as a nation, and they'll respond with loyalty. Treat them as a faction, and they will respond factiously. An attitude taken by Stephen Harper when he supported a resolution recognizing the Québécois as a nation within a united Canada. A group of stars becomes a constellation when its pattern is recognized in an area of the sky in relationship to other stars, and when its appearance and pathway is predictable at times of day and of the year. These coordinates depend on our point of view, as maps of Earth's surface do. The first map to mention Kanata was of the great river Jacques Cartier entered in his search for a passage to China. The river's shores were dotted by occasional indigenous villages. This Kanata constellation twisted its way between distant banks of land, like the constellation Draco the Dragon twists its way between Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, the great and little bears in our northern sky. What Cartier called the land and river of Canada contained several Kanatas, villages along the shores of the river and of rivers that flowed into it. This constellation doubled in length when villages on the north shores of the great lakes that fed the river were added to its tail. As we add stars to the Big Dipper to make the Great Bear, our western plain, Arctic, and Pacific coasts had village constellations added later. The best-known constellation in the northern sky became identified with Kanata before Confederation. To slaves escaping the U.S. on the Underground Railway, the Drinking Gourd, their name for the Big Dipper, was a marker with two stars pointing to the North Star. An early Canadian flag design put the Big Dipper on the red ensign with the Pole Star in the middle of the Union Jack. 
Stars of different colors, sizes, and brilliance add to the diversity of people and orientations in our institutions and workplaces. This applies to our Kanata constellation, too. Quebec has enacted measures to protect its French language and culture, Manitoba and New Brunswick to protect French minorities, British Columbia protects coastal ecosystems, Alberta and Saskatchewan the development of resources vital to their economies. Newfoundland had been self-governing for many years and had specific terms on which to enter Confederation. The Arctic territories, particularly Northwest and Nunavut, are adapting government to their culture. When Governor General Adrian Clarkson first visited Nunavut, the people refused an 18-gun salute in greeting. That's not us, they said. We'd rather welcome her with a dance. Waking up to unfilled treaty pledges and unceded territorial rights, we now recognized First Nations and Confederacies as foundational to our constellation. They are like new wavelengths of light we find as we look into space, preceding the later manifestations we'd been focused on. The 1987 Meech Lake Agreement between the provinces and federal government collapsed, in part due to its failure to include First Nations in negotiations. A later attempt to include them as a third order of government failed to gain sufficient public support in a referendum. First Nations' view of their culture and of non-Indigenous as parallel streams mean we can no longer treat them as an add-on. Even ceremonial acknowledgement of historic land rights can be no more than a wave aside like a youth or adult clicking a box before entering a website. From ancient times, Know Yourself was a goal of Western education until a scientific technical world led us to focus outwardly rather than in. But looking outward without self-knowing can end in our projecting inner conflicts onto other people and onto our environment. In the airport of each of the northern villages in which I arrived in the summer of 2017, I saw a sign and a display wall, We Are People Of, with photos, arts and crafts showing the lives and livelihood of those who lived there. The language was simple, direct and profound, more so than slogans welcoming visitors to urban centers, slogans often coined by communications agencies. The indigenous approach of seeing oneself in relation to the land is a space where one can be grounded and guided, a knowing that things bring us home to ourselves into and in harmony with our surroundings. Remembering our Kanata roots, in villages and in the exchange among them, opens possibilities unimaginable in a regulated academy or a prescribed program of studies. Awareness of this other stream is vital to understand the land we live in and the peoples whose word we adopted as a name for this land. Our constellation has villages of many kinds. To immerse ourselves in this and let it flow over us until we understand it, without a need to convert others, allows us to discover who we are in the freedom of the Kanata constellation. For Kanata Connections, I'm David Watts. Canada, oh long day rivière, les villages lumineux au-delà des frontières, a human constellation as long as the rivers run. Canada, Canada, Canadien. We are Canadian.